I love a good behind the scenes story. Today I'd like to share a strategy that will allow you to go behind the scenes and observe student learning as it's happening. Hi, my name is John Sowash. I help teachers use technology to design better lessons and organize the classroom. Today I'd like to introduce you to a new feature of Chromebooks that is wonderful for capturing student learning as it happens. Now, we always ask our students to turn in the final version of their research paper, their presentation, their website, but do you capture the process that gets them to that final version? This is very important because it's gonna give you an insight into what they're working on, what they're struggling with, and how you can best support them. Now the first thing I want to do is just introduce you to this new feature and then we'll talk about how to use it in the classroom. Um, the great thing about this new screen capture feature is that there's nothing to install, there's nothing to download, it's just built in, it just works. To initiate the screen capture you're going to press Control alt and the window switcher key. Now that's a funky key is located right above the number six on your Chromebook keyboard. Control Alt Switcher key. And you're gonna see the brand new screenshot interface. Got a little toolbar down at the bottom. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is that there's two little toggle switches. You can take a screen image, so a still image with the camera, or you can toggle over to the video and capture screen video and audio. We're gonna be looking at both of them. Then you have these three little icons in the center. Uh, the first icon is the capture all. And this is kind of the just click it and record button. It just recaptures whatever's on your screen. You don't have to think about it. It's frequently the one that I recommend for students. The second one right in the middle is the select an area icon. And this allows you to drag, uh, select a particular area of your screen. You can resize it if you want to very precisely. Um, select an area of your screen. So that's one I also use pretty pretty regularly. The third option is to capture a window. That's helpful if you're recording like a particular app and you don't want to record everything. I don't use that third one very often. I really just use the capture everything or select a specific area. One final tip <laughs> that I would recommend, and I messed this up a few times, so follow my uh, advice. Um, if you're going to take a screen video, we're gonna toggle over to the video icon, Make sure that you click this little gear and just confirm that record microphone is enabled. I did this a couple of times, forgot to check, recorded a whole video only to discover that I wasn't actually recording the audio. That is a quick overview of how to take a screen capture using the new built-in screen capture tool on Chromebooks. Let's take a look at how we can use the screen capture tool in the classroom. Um, I'm gonna be using Google Classroom to demo this, but this should work for pretty much any learning management tool that you have. Uh, first, let's talk about typing. Typing is an essential skill. Students should be practicing it, but it's not terribly exciting. It's kind of boring. You just gotta put the time in, put the work in, and uh, get better over time. So by the end of the year, I want my students to be typing at a rate of 30 words per minute and we're gonna document their progress periodically, once a week, once a month, um, by taking a screenshot. Uh, I happen to be using Typing Club. At the end of a Typing Club lesson, a student will get a confirmation screen that shows this, accuracy, words a minute, time spent, etc. They're gonna take a screenshot, Control Alt Switcher key, select the area of the screen uh, that they wanna capture, and then we're gonna upload that to Google Classroom. So let me switch over to a student account now. Uh, here is a, a demo student. Here's our typing assignment. I'm gonna go to the Add or Create button and simply attach the file. Now, like I said, these files are gonna be automatically in the download folder of the student Chromebook. And so when they click on Browse, it should take them right to the correct location. There it is and they can attach that um, just to demonstrate, to prove to me that they did it, and I can kind of monitor their progress over time. It's really that easy. And this works, uh, another great way to use this is with uh, Quizlet. If you're studying you know, terminology, whether Greek and Roman gods, this happens to be a, a quiz on the periodic table. Have students take that quiz, take a screenshot of that confirmation screen, and upload that to Google Classroom to show that they're improving, they're practicing uh, uh, as they go. Let's do a slightly more complex um, example. 
Um, here's a journal assignment. I'm using Google Slides for this uh, which a couple times a week. I'll ask my students to respond to a writing prompt. Right now my students are working on graphic organizers and so I want them to take a screenshot of their graphic organizer, drop it into this Google Slide deck, and then summarize their learning, tell me something they learned, what they're working on with it, okay? So take the screenshot, we've done that a couple of times, and for this one, you know, maybe I'll just do the whole screen, um, capture it. But I wanna show you another little interesting update to Chromebooks. Um, when we look down here, we'll see our, uh, it's called the tote, down here in the bottom. Uh, this will display the last three files that I have downloaded, includes my screenshots. So students don't even have to go to the download folder to do this. We'll open up our journal prompt. The students just have to click the tote in the uh, shelf of the Chromebook, and then all they have to do is just drag that screenshot from the tote and drop it right into Google Slides. This also works with Google Docs, um, works with uh, Google Drawing, and it's that easy. They can resize it and then write their response uh, to the right um, of the screenshot. So that's another easy way, very simple, to add your screenshots into Google Slides, Google Drawing, or Google Docs. One final example I want to give you, um, if your students are working on a much longer term assignment, so in this case perhaps they're doing a research paper, persuasive essay, something that will take quite a long time, ask them to periodically take a screen video showing you what they're working on. Um, I created this one, just three quick questions. I want them to verbally tell me one thing they're proud of, two things they're trying to improve, and the three things they're going to work on next. So they're gonna verbally explain that. So here's the uh, research paper the student is working on, Control-Alt-Switcher key. We're gonna to toggle over to the video tool, double check to make sure our microphone is on, looks good. Three, two, one, it's counting down. Now it's uh, recording and the student can talk about, you know, I'm really proud of my introduction. I know I have some, um, uh, spelling and grammatical errors I need to fix. I also need to work on my bibliography. To stop the recording, we'll go down here to the shelf. There's our red button. Shows that we're recording. I'll just uh, go ahead and stop that by clicking that red button. Video automatically goes to the downloads folder. I'm going to return to Google Classroom. This is an assignment, just like the others. And I'm just going to upload that video as uh, an attachment. So upload file. Go straight to my download folder. And the last thing I did was that video. Attach it and uh, upload, good to go. Now this works really well if you're the teacher. Um, I'm gonna switch over to the teacher view. Um, these videos will all come in um, as uh, in the uh, Google Classroom. So I can look at uh, Peter, shows the video right there. I can click on it. It's going to open up, it's going to play. I get all the normal grading tools that you would expect uh, to see. I can leave comments, feedback, um, grades. You can attach a rubric to this if you wanted to. It's a really great way to capture student learning as it happens. Now, I've just explained this process to you, and the next video that I would recommend is the video that I created for students. So in order to use this in your classroom, you're gonna to need to teach your students how to do the screen capture feature. So I created a special video for them. I'll link to that next, along with some of my favorite Chromebook tips and tricks.